Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to another video of Desmos series. Today I am going to solve three important questions uh, using Desmos uh, and help you for getting 800 in a digital asset, in an upcoming digital asset. So let's get started from this question. We have a function fx which is x plus a times x plus b and a and b are integer constants f of minus 21 is greater than 0 and f of minus 15 is greater than 0 and f of minus 18 is less than 0 what is the one possible value of a plus b in this type of question we have to notice that and we have to remember that there may be many possible values of a plus b but we only need one value so we have to find that value let's get started here y equals to x plus a x plus b So now we have to use slider in A or B. Now let us use slider of A 1 2 100 step 1 and similarly for B 1 2 100 step 1. So just let us see our graph. Okay. Now if now we have to find the f of minus 21 and f of minus 15 and f of minus 18 in this graph. So for what value of A we will get f of minus 21? Let's see not for this value i think for this value f of minus 21 oh no uh, let us little bit less yes for a equals 19 are we getting f of minus 21 yes we are almost around here and it is positive 2 so a equals to 19 so now let us see for f of minus 15 let us use b f of minus 15 let us zoom little bit yes f of minus 15 is somewhere here and it is also positive so our a plus no no wait we have to see for f of minus 18 less than 0 that means f of minus 18 is somewhere here so we have to make it less than 0 like this we can do it f of minus 18 is less than 0 f of minus 15 is positive f of minus 21 is positive so our a plus b becomes 36 remember there may be many values of a plus b like 36 37 but we only need one value sorry for this continuity so uh, in this question our one possible value is 36 so let's get to another question so this is question number two for today in this question we have given a system of equations and c is a constant the system has two distinct real solution for which value of c it is true okay we have to find the value of c and c is a constant so let us type two equation in this much which is y equals to x minus c and another y equals to minus 6 x minus minus 6 x minus 5 whole square so we have to find the value of c now let us check from the options first let us use c equals to 2 in this case c equals to 2 we are not getting any solution so it cannot be true when c equals to 4 also we are not getting any solutions so it is also not true let's check c equals to 119 by 24 are we getting solution no we are not so this cannot be our answer so by the process of elimination our answer is 7 but let us take from this mod when c equals to 7 yeah we are getting two solutions and both are distinct and real so in this question our answer is 7 in this way we can tackle this type of question very easily in our test day and we can get high marks in our maths so let's go to our final question of the day so this is the last question for uh, this video. 
hopefully you guys are enjoying it and learning some uh, important uh, techniques uh, to use this mouse so in this question we have two equations and the equation has only one real solution so what is the minimum possible value of 4a so to solve this type of question first we have to find minimum possible value of, of a and we have to multiply it by 4 so let's get started y equals to 6 minus x is 1 and y equals to a minus x square root So we can see in this uh, graph, so we have to use slider for A. If we slide A uh, towards, towards a greater value, it goes near the equation y equals to 46 minus x. So let's use the value of A slider and check this. Okay, let's go around here. When A equals to 45, uh, they are not intersecting but they are very near let's take a is equal to 46 yeah they are intersecting but at points so this cannot be true which means we got our value of a and we know that it's between 45 and 46 so made our work too easier right so 45.5 no let's take 5.6 uh, it is still not intersecting let's go 45.7 are they intersecting no they are not okay but they are very close so let's uh, see for 45.7.3 are they nope 7.5 are they yes 45.75 okay 7.74 no they aren't so which means our minimum possible value a is 5.75 so we have our answer 4a equals to 183 so in this way we can solve this type of question very easily and uh, we could ace our SAT match in upcoming examination so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will be posting similar videos uh, in upcoming days and thank you for giving your time and watching this video best of luck for your test day thank you